music business and uh, been uh, working on projects, adding music and um, uh, tanks, aquariums together. And uh, we'll talk about that more in the future. But uh, right now, uh, just enjoying adding these fish and see uh, how they behave and uh, trying to get a little bit more familiar with the species. Done a lot of reading about these guys. I didn't go out and just buy them. Uh, I don't believe in doing that with any tank. Um, if I'm going to stock a tank, I'm going to do my research and make sure that uh, the fish that I add are going to be fish that are going to thrive in here. This is a not very old planted tank here. It's probably about three weeks old after the cycle. And there's a lot more growth that's going to take place uh, through here. Now, something I didn't mention, I did add two blue velvet shrimp to this tank as well, uh, along with a, a couple of uh, bottom feeders, uh, or I should say algae eaters. I don't remember the names of those. I'm going to have to get that. I've just been busy today, and I really haven't had a chance to uh, kind of... Uh, when I went live here, I didn't really have a list of the names of those uh, two uh, algae eaters that I added as well. If I could find them in here, I would uh, show you a picture, and most of you guys who are out there could tell me what they are. But uh, right now, I'm not able to do that, so I'm just going to uh, kind of catch up with you on an update on this tank later on. Now, I am running CO2. And I'm a little concerned about that because these tank or these fish did not come from a tank that was running a CO2. These people are um, a supplier that I used to get my saltwater fish from 20 years ago. They've been around a long time. This is what was recommended to me. I did a lot of research. I didn't just take their word for it. I don't do that with anybody, but. Uh, these guys are really, really great people, and I know that they're not going to give me bad information. So the research that I found online with people that have uh, had these particular species of fish in their tank and my supplier all really um, came together uh, on their information, and I felt very comfortable about making this move. So getting away from the bed of fish a little bit in this particular tank anyway, and uh, going to really see what this community tank will do before I start my big build for my friend. As I mentioned in my last video, uh, I am doing a 500-gallon build for a friend who's got a new home. He's in Italy right now, but when he gets back, uh, we've got the, the tank in. And we're going to start uh, hardscaping uh, when he gets back in a couple of weeks here. And uh, we're going to video that uh, pretty much uh, the whole time that, uh, that we're working on that. It's going to be a beautiful tank. It's going to be very, uh, I would say, modern because we're not going to use a ton of plants. We're going to use a, a lot of carpeting plants and some uh, probably some swords and some crypts and things like that that uh, always look good in a tank. And uh, in doing so, we're probably going to have a tank that uh, is going to be extremely modern looking. Uh, I found some beautiful pieces of wood that we ordered, very expensive pieces that have been uh, tested already. They've been in water. They'll they're not going to float. They're going to have any problems like that at all. Of course, we're going to add some pretty good hardscape anyway, so it's really not going to matter. What we end up with is uh, going to be uh, some pieces of wood that uh, would have done fine whether we anchored them down or not. So anyways, getting back to this tank, uh, you know, tell me what you think. Uh, give me a like on this if you... Uh, are enjoying what you see here and you like what we've done here and uh, like the tank. Um, like I said, this is not a real old tank. This has only been set up for about three and a half, four months. 
and uh, we just started adding fish. I added a betta fish to this tank here about three weeks ago and moved from the betta fish to a more community tank and uh, looking forward to seeing how these guys do. They're very active. I'm really enjoying uh, what I'm seeing here. Uh, a lot more fun than just watching a betta fish run around, but uh, love my betta fish. Um, got a lot of friends out there that I've been building betta fish tanks for, uh, aquascape uh, tanks for a betta fish, you know, where people are willing to buy high quality betta fish and uh, spend, a, you know, some pretty good dollars on them and put them in tanks that uh, absolutely uh, most people would never do for a betta fish but i believe personally that if you're going to take on a pet like that i don't care if it's a dog or a cat or a fish it's your responsibility to make sure that these uh these livestock and animals and uh, literally your pets are well cared for and uh, are are given the best conditions possible to live out their lives uh, i know tetras I have friends that have tetras that have lived eight to 10 years under good conditions. And uh, it's a little bit of work. You gotta do those 50% water changes uh, twice a week on a new tank like this. I'm gonna continue to do that probably for the next six months and then probably cut back to just a 50% water change once a week. And then, uh, you know, just kind of go from there to see how the tank uh, does by keeping an eye on the parameters of the water and making sure that everything stays healthy and the water parameters are in good shape and kind of go from there. But real excited about these new fish. Uh, they're doing really well. I don't know much about uh, their schooling habits. I understand that the amber tetras will uh, will probably school a little bit more if I add a few more to it, but I'm gonna see how that goes over the next couple of weeks. Uh, the chili ramboris are probably not as schooly as a fish as I uh, was looking for for this tank, but I'm taking a chance on them because they're beautiful and everybody says that I talk to that they absolutely love them that they're hardy, they do good. Uh, you know, my water conditions are gonna be top notch. I keep an eye on it all the time. Like I said, I work from home in the music business. You would know who me if you if you saw me, and that's why I'm not putting my face online here, but uh, I've worked with some of the best bands uh, in the history of rock and roll, to be honest with you. I'm 60 years old, and uh, I've done a lot with that. But anyways, for now, uh, enjoy. Thank you for uh, sitting in with me and enjoying my new ad to my tank. And uh, we will uh, talk soon. I hope that uh, we get an opportunity to uh, kind of check in on this tank periodically, get you some updates on it, and uh, kind of let you know how things are going. This is George with the Art of Water, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.